In this presentation, we're going to look at permutations, and in particular, we're going to look at ordered subsets. So, suppose I have n items to choose from, and from those n items, I'm going to pick a subset of k items. For example, I have going to, I'm going to pick two items out of six, let's say. Now, the order in which items are selected is very important. I'm going to record those. Uh, they are the, again, this is what goes back to the definition of a permutation, that the order is critical. The total number of ordered subsets of k items when chosen from n items is given as follows. n factorial divided by n minus k factorial. So let's look at an example. Suppose I have four items. I'm going to call them a, b, c, and d. I want to find out how many possible ordered subsets there are of two items. So let, in this particular instance, we can write them all out because we have nice manageable numbers like 2 and 4. So here we have them there. A, B, B and A, C and A, D and A, and so on. Now just to pick up on the point again, the ordering is important here because the ordering would uh, give us two different possible outcomes. A and B is one possible subset. B and A is another possible subset. They are both distinct from each other. So that is why ordering is important. These two numbers are, these two uh, permutations are distinct from one another. Altogether, there are 12 subsets. Okay. So suppose for argument's sake we had five possible numbers to choose from and we're going to pick two. In this case, we would have 20 ordered subsets of size two. Again, this is because we have nice manageable uh, numbers to work with that we're able to write them all out. Suppose though I have six numbers or six items and I want to ch uh, choose three items and uh, structure ordered lists. How many ordered subsets of three items are there? Well, what we're going to do is go back and use that equation again here. So n is equal to six. And this time k is equal to 3. So n factorial over n minus k factorial, that is equal to 6 over 6, 6 factorial over 6 minus 3 factorial, that is equal to 6 factorial over 3 factorial. And that 6 factorial we can written as 6 by 5 by 4 by 3 factorial, all over 3 factorial. The three factorials cancel out. That cancels out with that. So we have six by five by four. That is equal to 120. There are 120 possible ordered subsets when you pick three items from six. And that ends our presentation.